What's 48 plus 27? Tim Harford asked this question in his BBC podcast, more or less. He wasn't really interested in the answer. This is a podcast for statistics nerds. You could be fairly confident that they knew the answer was 75. What he was interested in was how people came to that answer. Some did it the old school way. 8 plus 7 is 15, so 5 and carry 1. 4 plus 2 is 6, plus the carried 1, 75. Some rounded 48 to 50. 50 plus 27 is 77, minus 2, 75. Others rounded the 27 to 30. 30 plus 48, 78, take away 3, 75. Others rounded 48 to 50 and rounded 27 to 30. 50 plus 30 is 80, minus the 5 he uses for rounding, 75. The point is, there are lots of ways to get to the same answer. And all of them are perfectly valid. You just use the way that works for you, that suits your mind. It's the same with marketing. There are lots of ways of achieving the same end. You want your customers to buy more? You could try email, advertising, or social media blitz, or all three. You want new customers? You could try account-based marketing or a blitz on the trade publication. Both could work. You want a better reputation? Well, you could hire a PR agency, you could do a survey to find out what's wrong, or you could employ more customer service staff. Or you could do all three. If there's one principle of marketing that we really adhere to, it's Mark Ritson's principle of bothism. But that is a quotation in a separate video.